This whip around is packed with highlights today. I'm Carter Wadeel. It's the American Association whip around on this Thursday. Looking back on Wednesday night, it was a thriller. And we start between Chicago and Kane County in Geneva. There was a ton of great defense in this game. And the shortstops were showing out. Galley Cribs Jr. for Kane County. Sliding stop. Comes to his feet. Gets the out at first base. Connor Kopak, though, for Chicago. Look how high he gets to catch this ball. Incredible air time and the snow cone grab. He get a double play out of that, too. That's not bad. And so Galley Cribs Jr. not wanting to be outdone. A diving double play of his own there. This time on the ground. And that's an incredible play in its own right. The Dogs take the lead early, though, in this game. Cody Bohannik in his second game with Chicago went three for three, including that base hit that brought in two runs. It was 3 nothing dogs after three, but the Cougars rallied to tie it up in the fourth. This is B.J. Lopez with an RBI single to cap off the three-run frame. It's three apiece. In the seventh, though, the deciding blow from Charlie Tilson, a solo home run. His fourth of the year, it would hold up for Chicago. They win it 4-3 to three to snap their losing streak. Kansas City got a big win in Winnipeg last night. Brock Gilliam was really solid on the mound, making just his second start of the season. He's mostly been a reliever. Six innings, two runs allowed, and he strikes out three to earn the win. And he got some help from Big City. Matt Adams hit his 26th home run of the season here. That puts him in a four-way tie atop the association leaderboard for home runs. Monarchs win it 7-3. to three. Kleber and take it on Gary. Big game for both teams. Look at the web gem from LG Castillo laying out for the diving catch in the seventh inning for Gary. But this was all railroaders. Kevin Hilton was impressive, staying hot in the mound. Seven innings, one run, five hits. His fourth straight quality start, fourth straight win. He get plenty of help from the offense. This is Chuck Taylor with his sixth home run of the year, part of a 3-4-5 night for Taylor. And a little bit later on, Wyatt Matheson would strike for the Railroaders. What an addition he's been. His third home run in seven games with Cleburne, and they blow out the Railcats 13-2 at the U.S. Steel Yard. They move into a playoff spot. Lincoln victorious last night, an important victory for them. Zach Keenan tossed six quality innings, one run allowed on three hits, two walks, struck out five. He's earned the win in back-to-back -back outings now. And the Salt Dogs took the lead for good with some long balls. Randy Norris with a game-tying solo shot in the third inning, his third home run of the season. And just a couple batters later, Raider Scadio with a two-run home run, his fourth of the year, and Lincoln would hang on from there to take the W5-4. to four. Fargo Moorhead got another superb outing from Kevin McGovern last night. I mean, what else is new? The AAPB's all-time wins leader adds another to his total, eight shutout innings, four hits, no walks, and he strikes out seven. Another great outing from the association's all-time wins in case leader. And his offense did plenty to support him. Manny Boscan with a two-run home run here. That's number 14 of the 2022 season for Manny. He had three RBIs in this game and some great defense from Fargo, too, in this game. Look at Sam Dexter at short, laying out for the diving stop, comes to his feet so quickly and gets to throw the first good pick from Boscan at first base as well. Gotta watch it again. The Red Hawks win this ball game 7-0. Their magic number for a playoff spot down to one. And Lake Country taking on Milwaukee last night. Another web gem. This one's from Carl Chester for the Milwaukee Milkmen coming in from center field to make the tumbling catch. Awesome stuff, but this was Lake Country's night. Evan Krasinski threw seven strong innings, allowing three runs, striking out five for his fifth win of the season. And in the sixth inning, Wilfredo Jimenez blasts a grand slam, his eighth home run of the season, and the knockouts would pull away for a 10-5 victory, knocking off Milwaukee in Franklin. So here's the full scoreboard from the association last night. That Kleber win and the Lincoln win, really important as those teams fight to make it into the playoffs, fighting for that last spot in their respective divisions. In the East Division, Cleburne is now in that fourth spot with their win over Gary South Shore. The Dogs have re-upped their lead to three and a half games with the win over Kane County. As for the West Division, Fargo-Moorhead, remember they've got that magic number of one. If they win or if Sioux City beats Lincoln tonight, they will clinch a playoff spot. Of course, they're looking for the number one seed, the Red Hawks. Sioux City and Lincoln play tonight. They're separated by just one game for the final playoff spot in the West. As for what we've got tonight in the American Association, Facebook Game of the Week is coming your way tonight. I'll be joined by Michael Lang for the broadcast of Cleburne and Gary South Shore. That is available live and for free on Facebook Live. First pitch is at 6.45 p.m. this evening. Cannot wait to bring that to you. A big game for each of those teams. Again, the winner of that game is going to be in a playoff spot when it is finished. That's a big one coming up on Facebook Live. And, of course, AABaseball.tv is your home for every game all season long and the playoffs as well. I'm Carter Wadeel for the American Association where we play to win.